I decided to review the top 5 SEO plugins that are available in the WordPress org repository. I compared the plugins using the following criteria. Available features, UI, UX and backend performance, the price and necessity of paid upgrades, how annoying and intrusive the upsells are, and finally the reputation in the WordPress community. After a careful review of all five plugins, this is how I decided to rank them. Number 1. The SEO Framework This is what SEO features could look like in WordPress core. It provides most of the features that are needed and it does so with minimal impact. No ads, no widgets, no upsells. I can see myself using this plugin on my client websites. It blends well with the WordPress UI and will not confuse clients with notifications and advertising. Number 2. All-in-one SEO I think that this is a good-looking plugin that does its job. Of course, you have to live with the constant reminders of the paid upgrades and the many pages locked behind a paywall. The company behind the plugin has a very wide reach and a good reputation in the WordPress community. But because of its aggressive monetization, I would be hesitant to install it on client websites. Number 3. Yoast SEO Yoast SEO is the most popular and widely used search engine optimization plugin for WordPress. However, the plugin is slowly falling behind its main competitors, many of which provide a better stack of features and a better user experience. Yoast will have to find creative ways to keep users from leaving. My main problem is with the new owners of a plugin. They have a terrible reputation in certain parts of the web development community. Number 4. Rank Math SEO Rank Math SEO has the best user growth rate on this list. It has some free modules that its main competitors don't have. It can replace several other single-purpose plugins similar to what Jetpack is doing. It's up to you to decide if that's a good thing or not. Unfortunately, the plugin has a negative impact on website performance. There have also been allegations that the developers stole code from competitors. That's a big hit to their reputation. Number 5. SEO Press SEO Press is a lackluster plugin with a surprising number of users. To be honest, I couldn't find any significant advantages of this plugin over the more popular plugins on the market. It includes several features that don't have a lot to do with SEO. Please let me know in the comments if I missed something important. Why is the SEO framework in the top spot when it lacks some features that are available in its competitors? The answer is simple, it does exactly what it is supposed to do. If there are some important missing features, that can be easily resolved with standalone plugins. And my second reason is that I would be a lot more confident in having the SEO framework on my client websites. Its controls and options blend a lot better with a general WordPress style. But if you rarely use the WordPress dashboard and don't mind a bunch of upgrade notifications and ads, then go for the second best option, and that is all-in-one SEO. But that's just what I think. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Thank you for watching.